So you guys heard <clears throat> what I had to say about the uh, the mass shooters um, TI mind reading uh, claim. Um, and when I made that recording, um, I wanted to make a recording that didn't really require any faith in God or anything like that, but, or, you know, or any kind of religious, uh, any kind of religious connection. Like I wanted to separate it from anything that might be religious. So, cause I know that not all of you guys believe in God or any of that stuff. So like if I just focus on religious stuff, that's not going to help you if you don't believe in it. So for the, the people who believe in it, okay, I want to give another theory that could explain um, that could explain what's, what the hell is happening. So what we could be dealing with, um, what we could be dealing with is some sort of uh, demonic presence or something along those lines. I don't know if I've covered this topic in any of my other recordings, but we could be dealing with uh, like a demonic presence that's like, you know, that's connected, not connected to us, but it's kind of hunting us or some shit. Like, like, um, I don't want to go as far as to say that it's definitely that Satan himself or something who's fucking with us, but we could be dealing with some sort of evil demonic connection, like some presence or like there's like something after us and it's supernatural. Okay. So uh, basically every culture in the world believes in the supernatural. It's not just, uh, the, you know, the, the, uh, the people in the Middle East who are responsible for, you know, the two major religions. Native American people had no contact with any of the outside world, period. They had no contact with the outside world ever. So the Native Americans, by the time when they came to North, the North American continent, continent, that was during the last ice age. That was like back when humanity was like in its infancy, like before we were really anything like we are now like we had all like civilization i mean they were civilized but you got to remember this was like back when humanity was at its infancy like way back when okay <laughs> so um every every major every 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 um every um culture has uh, a belief in the supernatural and their beliefs are pretty similar so I mean, you know, if you don't believe in God, that's, that's, that's fine. I mean, but I mean, I'm just saying every culture believes in God. Every culture believes in God and, you know, and they all have stories. They all have stories. So, I mean, if you, if, if it was just one group of people or one culture and then the other didn't, I mean, that'd be different, but you know, every culture believes in it. So I don't think that it's unreasonable for us to just assume that there's a God and there's other shit out there that we don't fucking understand. And there's a shit here on this planet we don't fucking understand and like native americans they believed they believed in god and they you know they used to see shit like skinwalkers skinwalkers fucking wendigos all these demons and shit so they were fucking dealing with this shit for thousands and thousands of fucking years and it's been documented they've drawn pictures of it so there's some shit there is some shit that's fucking going on okay and there's some shit that's fucking some supernatural shit that's probably happening to us so like so, I mean, so when it comes to mind reading, I mean, we don't know what the fuck is going on. I mean, we don't know what kind of, how that's possible and shit, but the point is that it could be a demonic, some sort of demonic presence that's fucking just like fucking with us, okay? Like a demonic force or entity or some shit like that. Some sort of powerful demon or it could be fucking, it could be that. Um... <clears throat> You know, I think that what happens and why a lot of people get turned off by religion is because people intentionally kind of just like make it so that people don't really like it. Like they start, you know, turn it into something really fucked up or toxic and it turns people off and people don't really want to fuck with it. But I think that like behind every fable is truth. And I don't think that every uh, every fucking culture on the planet believes in some bullshit that they just cooked up in their fucking out of their imagination especially with all the fucking stories we've been hearing 
Um, every culture has stories and shit, and you know, people don't want to believe in this shit, and this shit will be real. And some people have actually experienced it. So, I mean, well, as far as these people go, I mean, if they're if they if they're possessed or have some sort of demonic uh, entity, you know, working through them, then I mean, yeah, they I don't we don't know shit about what the fuck a demon can do. So I could tell you the Christian beliefs. And you could have, you know, you might have your own beliefs. I could kind of tell you the Christian's beliefs. I mean, so the, I mean, if it's a demon, then a demon is basically like a demigod, and it can do all sorts of shit. We don't know what the fuck it can do. I mean, that shit can fucking probably can read minds and do shape shift and fucking fly and do all sorts of weird shit. How the fuck will we know what the fuck it can do? It's a son of a god. It's a demigod or something. I mean, if it's a demigod, I would imagine mind reading would be kind of like on the lower tier of things the fucking thing can do and shit. Uh, <laughs> Cause it's a fucking demigod. According to the Bible, I mean, these beings are sons of God and that it's worded like that in the Bible. So. So the Bible basically has Jesus Christ as like the official heir to God's throne or well, not the official heir, but like his 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 second, like his his favorite son who was gifted with, you know, all sorts of, you know, whatever, like he had a special place. But the Bible also refers to the angels, the sons of God. So they're kind of. So, I mean, since we don't understand what God is, it's kind of, we and he has to assign human uh, titles to things that are beyond our understanding. We don't, it's hard to make the connections that we are trying to make. But basically, if these beings, these beings, the ones that would be fucking with us and the angels that are talked about in the Bible are children of an omnipotent being. So... And when you think about children, that means that they came directly from him. Whatever he is, some of what he is, some of what he is, is inside of them, which would give them God-like powers. I mean, they may not be God because God is omnipotent. God is omnipotent, meaning that he could do anything. So the only way they would be omnipotent is if they were as powerful or more powerful than he is. So by that logic, they could be incredibly powerful, limited only by God himself, meaning that the reason why they're not omnipotent is because they can't overtake God, which would mean that they're not omnipotent because if they were omnipotent, there would be nothing that they couldn't do, including overtaking God. So God would, God has the throne and, but, and they're beyond, they're below that because God, you know, they have some of his abilities, but maybe not all of them. And uh, so like, so if they are that powerful, then I would imagine they could do a whole lot of fucking shit. Okay. So like even the ones that are, have been like damned by God himself because they were wicked or evil or they betrayed him or whatever. So like, according to the Bible, Lucifer uh, fell. And when he fell, a third of the angels fell with him because he, he was one of the greatest or he was one of the most exceptional of the angels, one of the most powerful. And he fell and he really he felt that he could replace God or something along those lines. We don't know exactly what. Um, and he fell and because God kicked him out because God was like, you, you're not on my level. I mean, but the point is that he was incredibly powerful and he was incredibly exceptional. and He was incredibly wise and great and all that. At least that's what that's what the, the common consensus is. That's what most people believe. So. Um, these beings are incredibly powerful and i think that god makes it would make it so that they can they, i mean they're gonna have power but he kind of makes it so they can't just go like buck wild and take the whole planet over or some shit like <laughs> but the point is that like according to the bible um these beings are fucking powerful i mean they're his children so they're powerful as fuck i mean they're powerful as shit so mind reading would probably be a fucking cakewalk i mean if they can if they're sons of a god I mean, think about it. They're the son of a God. I mean, that's pretty damn powerful. How could you get more powerful than that? I was like, you're the son of a God or you can do whatever the hell you wanted. I mean, I was, no one could stop you except for God himself. So the Bible refers to, it actually has certain passages in the Bible that kind of talk about these beings' abilities. These beings are powerful. I mean, they are powerful. Fuck what you've heard. I mean, I don't know how they describe these beings. But if you were to believe it, if you believe that these beings are so powerful that the people in the Old Testament would see them 
interact with them and believe that they were God because they were so powerful. I mean, so like uh, if they start wilding out, <laughs> if they start wilding out, it'll be like you're fighting a God or something because they're so powerful. But um, and you know, so I think that like with demons, demons, uh, <clears throat> demons will probably be like demons are be have been cursed by God, but they're powerful. But they we don't know how that works. Like, I, I literally don't know, like what limitations they have. We don't know. This is we're talking about stuff that humans can't even understand. But I would imagine these beings are powerful. So here's the thing, whether they can. I mean, mind reading would be a fucking cakewalk. Like, I wouldn't know why out of all the abilities they have, they would want a fucking ability like that. But I think it has to do with being able to, to be uh, tempt, uh, tempt people because tempting people would be super important. And if you're going to tempt somebody, you definitely want to be in their fucking head. So the way I'm kind of seeing it is that, like, I see it like this. The fucking, uh, the, the, like, if, it, the, so, like, if a person is under the influence of a demon, the demon would have to give the person abilities that would allow them to do the demon's will. So, like, um, so if you wanted to say that these people follow Satan, he's not going to give them his power, but he would give them enough power where they could really do the damage that he wants them to do. And so with that said, like if mind reading would be the number one ability, if I was Satan, if I was Satan, this is what I would do. I would say, OK, now I need people to destroy these people over here that I don't like and turn them from God. So what ability would make them most suited for that task? Mind reading, mind reading. You could find their weaknesses. Like you, could, if you could get inside their head, you could figure their weaknesses out and use it against them in order to turn them. So I would be like, okay, I'm not going to give them real power, but I'll give them enough power where they can fuck people up. You know, they can get in their head and turn them from God and you know fuck with their head and do shit like that because then it's, it breaks their connection to God. Like I would give them those powers. Now like I wouldn't give them my powers or the demons' powers. I'd give them enough power where they can go fuck with people and leave it there. OK, so because Satan doesn't really want these people to be powerful and maybe Satan just can't give it to him like he just he's not going to make them, you know, like great or super or anything like they're not going to be flying around. They're not going to be Superman or Hancock or have all these incredible abilities and, you know, have super all this all super stuff. Like, I don't think it works like that. I think the demon would give him enough power to do shit that he wants them to do. Like if he wanted them to fuck with people's head or make them evil or make them hateful i'm guessing that he would probably give them enough power where they can do that kind of shit you know what i mean like uh but this is a theory i don't know this is a theory i mean so out of all the abilities that they have i mean they don't really have abilities i mean if they could get inside your head i mean that's i don't really know why the fuck would you want to do that i mean why the fuck would you want to do that unless you, what what the benefit of is that of to anybody really i mean unless you were going to get some fucking credit card information out of them and just like you know steal some money from them or some stupid sh some shit like that well that's not stupid but unless you were hopping on some shit like that that's not really a great ability i mean you know so the point the point is that we don't know shit about what's going on now this is why i think that this guy might have made a mistake the demons we don't know you know you guys don't know anything about what's happening you can't just run out and start doing shit like that and hurting people when you don't know what the fuck is going on. You don't know what's going on. You don't know. You cannot fucking act if you don't have the facts because you could get it wrong. Like whether, I mean, we don't know shit about what these people are doing. So his neighbors were fucking with him, but he doesn't know anything. He doesn't know, like, even if they were fucking with him, he doesn't have enough information to start fucking passing, you know, to, to start wasting people or some shit. Like, you just don't know. And if you don't know, you can fuck up. And if you fuck up, if you hurt somebody and you fucked up, that's a major fuck up. That's why I wouldn't put my hand on anybody unless they put their hands on me. Okay? Like, if you don't put your hand on me, you're fine. Because once you put your hand on me, you know, you know, that's justifiable. Okay. That's like, you done fucked up. Now I have the right to fuck you up. 
But outside of that, I just don't think anybody should jump to conclusions. Like, I know you're suffering and now you want to do something about it. But just remember that if you get this wrong, you just call somebody their fucking life, dude. Like, it's just not the way you want to handle it. And you just don't have the information you need. And that goes for pretty much everybody. I mean, but like I said, that's just my two cents on it. I just really think that you guys have to be careful when dealing with this because you just don't know what you're dealing with. So with that said, let me go ahead and close. <clears throat>